Hey, welcome back to the Yips 3 channel. I wanted to talk about the Pipkin Pippa situation. I wanted to bring this up because I found it a little bit hilarious. So you might be wondering, who's Pipkin Pippa? Well, Pipkin Pippa is a VTuber. You might be wondering, what is a VTuber? Well, you should know what a VTuber is because you're on this channel. But the VTuber is pretty much anime girl YouTuber. They use anime stuff like right here. And Pipkin Pippa is a part of Phase Connect. And Phase Connect is usually one of the better companies out there to let. But before you click off, let me continue on about this real quick. Because Pippin Pippa is a little bit of this situation is kind of funny. It started off with this one tweet right here. Jax Films is a drama channel along the lines of Keemstar, but somehow creepier. What's funny is that the Jax Films part isn't even a uh, drama channel in specific. She's basically saying she, he's creepier because he's... And it's all because of this video, where he criticizes Fillion. And not even in a rude way. He criticizes him, Fillion in like a like a normal-ass way. Pipkin Pipka is pretty much going after Jax Films because of the fact that basically he criticized Fillion. Which case... And also, criticizing is completely valid and allowed. You're allowed to criticize something as long as you make it transform which is pretty much Jax Films argument over here. Obviously, if we're looking at it, Fillion doesn't only just do this type of react content. He does more than just react content if I can find it right now. Let me just go look at it. Meta. Meta mis huevos en tu boca. So obviously I don't want to say because of that, Fillion is like, oh yeah, she's the worst. I'm trying to keep a neutral, uh, unbiased perspective here. I have a lot of respect for both these creators, obviously. I do want to bring up the fact that I feel like doing this is unnecessary. Funny enough, actually, Pipkin really made a response, but Fillion really didn't care. Uh, like, I haven't seen any tweets. I've tried to look through YouTube, like, YouTube as much as possible, but there's really none. Here's another guy saying that uh, calling out grifters is anything like Keystar or creepy. Go catch grass. Yeah, his main argument that it should be more transformative. Kind of just hanging out in the bottom right of the screen while the video is playing is not exactly derivative content. And I'm and I'm doing this right now as this Twitch react content sucks and is part of the reason I don't watch most VTubers on Twitch. But Pippa is also right that Jack is insufferable and fake as hell. I can see where the creepy point comes from, especially since it was talking about um, the SS Sniper Wolf situation. Well. All he did was just create a parody of that. I don't think it was warranted to call him creepy because of that. And also, by the way, uh, SS Sniper Wolf was also the one who leaked Jax Films' address. I don't think Jax Films went that far <laughs> docked him like that. So yeah, I don't think there's a difference there. Another opinion by this guy over here. Honestly, I think it was a bad representation of Fillion's overall content. Uh, yes, she does do React content, and there was a merchandising incident a little while ago. But she does a lot more than what Jack puts in the video. I'm not saying it's slanderous, but his points seem cherry picked. Was it a bad representation? Yes. But the, were they cherry picked? Mm, I don't believe so. To the merchandising argument, there has been an actual problem. What I wanted to bring in was uh, talking about that merch incident that happened a while ago. Hey, listen, I'm not biased in every in any particular way. Hell, I even own a fucking Fillion cup, so I'm owning illegal merch as of currently. So let's read this post by the original creator of the model Billion is using for merchandise. Hello, I'm Jingo. This morning we've received many messages regarding the announcement posted on the Good Smile Company account talking about a production of an Android figurine of the VTuber Ryujin. Uh, I was contacted while I was traveling so it took some time to find out about the situation. I was unable to receive any prior contact from the Good Smile Company or the VTuber regarding the production of the VTuber Android figure based on Rindo. From my perspective, I was very confused by the fact that the company was planning to produce a figurine based on my character and I had heard, never heard anything about this. We currently contacted a good smile company and the VTuber in question and waiting for a response. This is, it's not an individual issue, so it's going to take some time for everything to come together. Please be aware of this and patient while we're waiting for this. And so this is completely illegal, by the way. It's not even uh, an if, but, or what, because at this point it is illegal. Uh, so I wanted to bring this up to show that uh, situations like these have happened in the past. It's like, cause I could see this, how this can be an accident because Fillion was growing on a VTuber and everything and she didn't realize cause maybe it was a free model and she didn't know, oh yeah, you can't produce it with a free model. It's like, oh yeah, whoops. Well, I mean, it was, but I gave an idea. What if I took my Yorkshire model and I started face track with it? So what I did was, I, I went and ripped the model from Yorkshire legally. I uploaded it into some software that I downloaded on the internet, um, which is the same software I'm using today. So then I did that. Oh, and I hope you Luckily, this was like a couple months ago. I hope that they learned from this, obviously, from there. I can't, I can't have a legal merch. I have the fucking Fillion Cup, so it's illegal. I, I didn't even realize at the time either, so this is my own. This on me. So, what's the moral of this? Talk to this shit in private, I guess. Like, if you guys are friends, just be like, hey, bro. Uh, look at this criticism video. It's like, yeah, take the criticism and learn from it. It's like, okay. That's the moral of that. So yeah, it was pretty much a whole nothing burger because it was this and no further argument. Yeah, that's what I want to say.